Hello, my name is Amanda Page Morse. My presentation report and findings for the Tile Grimmel Experimental Project. First topic is the introduction. What is the purpose of the primary research? Well, in the article called Why is Market Research Important to Your Business? Primary research is positive for keeping a tab on your competitors and guarantees the success of marketing campaigns. For the purpose of the primary research is to help Tyler Grimmel increase his fan base and discover if we are reaching out to the right target audience through social media platforms that are most popular for college students between ages 18 and 28 years old. After researching different methods of primary research, it was found that an online survey through social media platforms such as Facebook would be a better fit for the client and its target audience. One interesting fact about Facebook from the article written in 2015, for the very first time in history, over 1 billion people use Facebook in a single day, which means one out of every seven people on the planet was logged into the social media network at a particular time during that day. In the secondary research, I had to find which social media live app was most popular, Periscope Mirrorcap. It discovered Adobe Digital Index advertising report shows that Periscope live streams are getting a lot more mention on social networks than Mirrorcap streams. Fun fact about Periscope, fans can follow you and are notified whenever you go live and the broadcast replay will be available for up to 24 hours unless you choose to delete it. Another fun fact, on December 9, 2015, Periscope was voted iPhone's app of the year. Another secondary research was to find which social media websites were popular among college students. 84% of college students ages 18 to 28 years old use Facebook as their social networking platform. Fun fact about Facebook, with almost 1.5 billion monthly active users worldwide, Facebook is one of the world's largest social media sites. A third research was to find in general how far people drive on average day. In 2010, average drivers dr drive around 13,476 miles per year or 37 miles a day. Total average annual miles of a driver ages 20, 30, 20 to 34 years old is a total of 15,000. Fun fact about driving, there are over 200 million drivers in America. Another topic I will speak about is method. For this primary research, there was no recruitment needed in order to take the survey. The survey was designed to encourage the target audience to post into a link to an online survey on Facebook. Not everyone who is on Facebook is part of Tyler's target mar market or demographics. However, the results collected from the survey will determine how many people from his target audience participated. Online tool that I decided to use was KeyWeek surveys. This helped me create the answers are needed to be selected, such as multiple choice, fill in the blank, or single choice questions. The time period of the survey was a week long. It was the total of 10 questions and was posted on Tyler's Facebook fan page. The total response was 53 response. Tyler has about 60 likes on Facebook, so this is a really good number compared to how many people he has on his Facebook page. Interesting fact about the midweek, within the first hour, there was already 23 people who responded to the survey. KeyWeek survey was able to collect data results during the course of the survey, when it was, even when it was closed down. There was a total of 10 questions, and the statistical significance is the standard deviation. Not all the questions had a standard deviation number. As you can see, there's a list of what questions in the standard deviation. Based on these numbers, the total standard deviation range is 7.15 and the median is 9. Another topic I will speak about is results. In question number one, do you currently reside in Lakeland, Florida? 70% answered yes, 30% answered no. This question is very important because it shows that the target audience is in the targeted geographical location. In question number two, what is your age? 30% respondents are 29 and older, and 70% are between Tyler's demographic age, 18 and 28 years old. In question number three, 70% versus 30% respondents, respondents intend a higher learning institution. This is a great result because this shows this is within Tyler's target audience, which are college students. In question number four, determines which social media platform is most popular for local musicians to promote their music. The top three is 66% Facebook, 64% YouTube, and 38% Instagram. 
In the fifth question, respondents were asked, what type of music do you listen to? The top answer was 74% hip hop. In the sixth question, would you use Periscope to watch a live performance if you cannot attend in person? It seems that 45% does not know what Periscope is. This question was asked because Periscope was going to be used for one of Tyler's, Tyler's performances for his target audience who could not attend in person. The sixth question leads to the seventh question. How far would you travel to watch a performance by a local independent artist? 45% did 20 plus miles. The other question is, are you familiar with the music genre New Region Metal? 38% said no, so that means Tyler needs to educate his target audience on this music style. Question 9 and 10 are based upon a snippet of an improv video music clip from YouTube from Tyler's jam session at a local venue. It was an 18 seconds long video. In the first question, are you interested in lis listening to more music from this artist? 67% said yes. In the last question, did you like the video clip? 69% answered yes. Here are my infographic. In the conclusion, with the help of the PR representative, Tyler can reach his goal as a successful musician if he continues to create weekly tweets and Instagram postings, bi-weekly postings on Facebook and monthly YouTube video uploads. It is a fact that social media is changing the way we communicate and the way we are perceived, both positively and negatively. Every time you post a photo or update your status, you are contributing to your own digital footprint and personal brand. Quote by Martin. Tyler is a passionate musician and he just needs to have proper tools and resources to help him become successful in the entertainment industry. He understands the pet of market, but he's willing to do what it takes to be successful. The next step is to begin working on creating and posting commercial or a documentary video on YouTube based on the research finding. It is imperative that more information is given about Tyler's music. In addition, there is need to be a post his performance schedule on Facebook fan page. By doing this, it will help Tyler gain more followers as well as giving him opportunities to perform at different venues. There will also be an organized photo shoot to revamp Tyler's Facebook to look more as a professional musician. As for the next step in his primary research, there will be another online survey conducted through Kiwi surveys or a similar tool to link music or videos. In this survey, there will be more samples of Tyler's video music or sample music to help promote the song that will ultimately become his trademark sound. It will also help him decide if experimental funk is a sound that his target audience would be interested in listening to on a regular basis. In this survey, there will be a total of five to six questions that will not only help the PR representative myself, but Tyler features success in the entertainment industry. Here are my references, and thank you for watching my video.